Boo! I'm back! Don't you ever think of starting without me? Freeze! So you people have been doing my homework for me for the past few days. We just can't help it. We are so sad seeing you not being able to do your homework. I'll tell you what, instead of you guys doing my homework, why don't you guys teach me instead? Beauty, beauty, we would, we would love, love to. Now, now. now. Let's, go. let's go. Go where? To the land of make believe. You silly. destination. Come on, let's get on it. Here we go. Let's do the countdown in full numbers. Do you know what full numbers are? I know this. I memorize it. a game. The more you answer correctly, the more chocolates you will get. Ready? Here is the amount of chocolates the factory produces in a month. Now, you're supposed to state the value of each digit starting from right to left. That's it. Is that all you're giving me? That's a piece of cake. Well, the place value of the digit 7 is 100,000. The place value for the digit 5 is 10,000. And the place value for the next digit is 1,000. The place value for the digit after that is 100. And the place value of the digit 1 is 10. And finally, the place value of the last digit is 1. 
Am I right? Yay! One candy ball for you! Hey! Elton! Stop taking all Adip's attention! Now, it's my turn! Adip, here's another question for you. According to the amount of chocolates the factory produces in a month, the digit 7 has the largest value of digit, which is 700,000. And the digit 3 has the smallest value of digit, which is 3. Now, can you tell me which digit has the larger value of digit than 50,000? And which digit has a smaller value of digit than 10 in the number. Hmm, let me see. I guess the digit that has a larger value of digit than 50,000 is 7. And the digit which has a smaller value of digit than 10 is 3. Is it correct? Indeed you are, my friend. Here's another candy ball for you! Now that you've had enough chocolate, do you want to explore the land of make-believe? Sure, I'd love to. This is going to be so much fun. Adip, why are you so quiet? It's nothing. I'm just worried. About what? It's my homework. I haven't finished yet. Plus, I don't quite understand the topic my teacher gave me. Are you all worried over the homework on the topic of rounding of numbers? Yeah, the topic is somewhat confusing. Well, buddy, you've come to the right person. I can help you to understand the topic. That is my area of expertise. <laughs> I can help you too, Adip. Wormboy is not the only one who is good at it. Oh, please, can we start now? Hey, I'm the one who is supposed to teach her. Not fair. Okay, okay. The two of you can teach me but with two conditions. What? What, what is, is the, the condition? condition? You have to take turns and no fighting. Is that okay? Okay! okay. Let me start. Firstly, do you know what rounding off is used for? Can I? Can I please help her answer? Go ahead, Al. You better give the right answer or else. Here comes the genius! Adip, rounding off a number can be used to estimate the number when the exact number is not required. But this can only be done according to a set of rules. Worm, why don't you explain to Adip what the rules are? Over to you, Worm! Thanks, Al. There are two rules of rounding off. First, you have to check the first digit on the right side of the place value to be rounded off. And if the digit value is 5 or less, the digit at the place to be rounded off remains unchanged, and the other digits on its right hand side are replaced by zeros. And... And if the digit is equal to or more than 5, I have to add 1 to the previous digit value, right? 
There you go. I knew you had it in you. Now, come on, you two. Give me some questions to test my understanding. Okay. Here's one for you. Listen carefully. Round off 635, 457 to the nearest thousands. I know, I know. The answer is 635,000. Correct! Oh, it's my turn to ask for now. Now, Adip, try to round off the same number to the nearest tens. Can you do it? Of course! And the answer is 635,460. Worm, can I round off the same number to the nearest hundreds and hundred thousands? Correct! Girl, you're really having fun, aren't you? Well, go ahead. <laughs> I'm having fun. Isn't that what mathematics is all about? By the way, the answer is 635,500 when you run off the number to the nearest hundred. And when you run off the number to the nearest hundred thousand, you get 600,000. Am I right or am I right? Announcing the winner, the winner of, of the Mathematical, mathematical Award of 2005, 2005. Adip, Adip the, the Genius! genius. Yeah. Come on you guys, I'm not that good yet. It's not good to flatter me too much. I might get so headed. I'm sorry Adip. You're right. We should encourage you, not flatter you. You may not be really good yet, but once we're done with you, you are going to be really great. No, no, Elto. We shouldn't be getting ahead of ourselves because we have to reserve that for next time. You're right, Worm. We don't have any more time, do we? I guess this is goodbye now. Goodbye. 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 The place value of the digit 7 is 100,000. The place value for the digit 5 is 10,000. And the place value for the next digit is 1,000. The place value for the digit after that is 100. And the place value of the digit 1 is 10. And finally, the place value of the last digit is 1. According to the amount of chocolates the factory produces in a month, the digit 7 has the largest value of digit, which is 700,000. And the digit 3 has the smallest value of digit, which is 3. First, you have to check the first digit on the right side of the place value to be rounded off. And if the digit value is 5 or less, the digit at the place to be rounded off remains unchanged, and the other digits on its right hand side are replaced by zeros. And... And if the digit is equal to or more than 5, I have to add 1 to the previous 